have cla the uh, audience going. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. From the 40-yard line, this time the Rangers going to be kicking back. We're ready to start the third quarter. Clock's up. Rangers leading 44 to 14. Here we go, third quarter. From the 40-yard line, nice, big, strong boot right down by three week three coffee. Sweeps off the far side looking for a hole. That's number 20 for the Rockets. Ooh, hammered. Brought down over there. There's uh, 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 Caleb on the tackle. That's a... Uh, and the, the ball runner was Austin Ford on that one. Uh, yep. Okay, so first and 10 for the uh, Rockets at about the 30-yard line. It's 11.53. Here we go. All right, Rockets coming up to the line. Far side hash mark from the 30-yard line, first and 10. Corwin, the quarterback, deep shotgun. Here's hand off the ball. Second man through, sweeps down, and he's hammered. That is uh, Peters on the Peters. tackle. Good job. Boy, the, the Rangers, are, well, the Rockets are pretty fast too, but the Rangers have just got some speed, as you see a lot of the times in uh, the Ranger football team. Oh, they're doing really well, and it's good to see them flying around, making those tackles, and getting in there and getting the job done. Yep, all right, so, uh, second down and 10. Here's the snap, drops back, looking for his receiver, trying to find a hole, takes a quarterback to himself. We see on the far side. There goes uh, Shano sliding in on him, tripped him up at about the 45-yard uh, line. First down, Rockets. That was a pretty good run. He had nowhere to pass. He realized it, and instead of waiting in the pocket, he decided, I better bail out now, and it was a good thing he did because he was able to get the first down. And it looks like, yeah, about the 47 of... Uh, of Pilot Rock, so they're right near midfield. First and 10, as Shan said, from the 47, far side hash mark. Corwin, the quarterback, deep shotgun. Receiver splitting wide both sides. Looks around, looks for his receiver as he's trying to figure out which one he's going to pass to. Screen pass right up the middle. Gets about a couple of yard uh, run on that. Tackled by Phillips on the tackle. And he was throwing under Cody. pressure on that one uh, because he had three Rangers right there in his face and they were managed to be able to push it past the midfield line. Second down and six would be the call from about the 49 yard line. 10.36 on the third quarter clock. Rangers leading 44 to 14. Far side hash mark, Rockets coming up the line. Corwin, the quarterback, deep shotgun, eye formation, Thornton Castro in the backfield, second and six, pitch out to the inside, sweeping towards the announcer's booth. And he's brought down, tackled. That Peters. is by Peters, yep, on that. And the ball carrier is, still can't see it, that's number four, that's Ford, I believe. Riley Wagon, Wagoneer on the carry. He's going to lose about two yards on that play. Takes the ball back to the original scrimmage line, ball at the 49-yard line, third down for the Rockets. That was another, you know, another great hustle play by Peters in the, in the whole defensive unit. Rockets coming up the line. T formation. Wagoneer the quarterback. Third and ten. Drops back looking for his receiver. He's got all kinds of guys coming in on him. Going to be a big sack. Mr. That's Pence. it. Uh, Pence is on it. And also uh, Josh Taylor on the tackle. And there is also Darden. That was They tripled him and he didn't get anywhere. Fourth down. Big yardage. That's got to be, yeah, that's 50, 20 yards. Fourth and 20, four, 9 27 on the clock. Rangers up 44 to 14. So, Pilot Rock going into punt formation, fourth and from the 40 yard line. Here's a snap. And Darden is right on top of him. They were going to fake it. I uh, heard Arthur yelling in the background. He was going to go ahead and run it. No joy. Rangers taking over at the 40, 35-yard line. The ball made a little fake like he's going to kick, then started to run, but it was too late. Darden was there, covered him up, and the Rangers are going to get a great starting position and a Wasco Electric Cooperative first down. Well, that punter was fast, but he was tall, small, and I wouldn't want to have Darden looking down at me like that. Bales under center, T formation, first and 10 Rangers. Here's the snap. Hands off the ball to Pence, slips out to the far side. Side, breaks a tackle, keeps right on going down the sideline. I can't see what's going on down there. What are they referring? Right left side with a hammer down on the defense. Gets up, stiff arms another defender. Gets into the end zone for a Ranger touchdown. <laughs> I wish the referees would hold their hands up. That'd be helpful, you know. <laughs> Hard run. Is there a referee school? <laughs> Don't get started. <laughs> I couldn't tell that that was a touchdown. I didn't see any hands up in the air. Rangers trying for the PAT. Bales under center, T formation. 
Here's the snap. Drops back. Hands off the ball to Pence. Pushes John on through. Now oh, I've seen some hands. All right, there we go. Two points extra with 8.45 on the clock. Rangers leading 50 to 14. We'll be back in one minute. understands community they invest in the community in many ways school activities local project differential uh, somehow I'm reading 52 and 14 that game. doesn't come up 45 but no. who am I to question things they're calling the ball running clock here's the kick it's going to be kicked taken down to about the 30 yard line coming up by the announcers booth and it slips and falls down he was looking at channel uh, Shano on the tackle so 744 and the clock is running here, 741, right on down. Ay, 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 5214. Let me get my calculator out. <laughs> exactly. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't sound <laughs> similar. Like that's all six, carry the four, minus three. It's a running clock. It is. What do you do? Who am I to say? They yeah, things change. They do. <laughs> that they do. Okay, 720 on the running clock. So, Pilot Rock coming up to the line, and... Uh, Corwin, the quarterback, receiver split wide, first and 10. Here's the snap. Pitch out to the side, looking for a hole. Ooh. Ran right back into a ranger. Cut back across the side and ran into... Peters. Peters, good catch. I mean, there was a couple rangers right there, and he, he had really had nowhere to go. And Wall that was hard. Uh, Wallace was in there as well. And uh, I'll tell you what, Wallace got in there and made him change his direction, and Peters grabbed him. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that... Uh, juke back to the inside. Oops. Yep. Wall. All right. On the carry with number four, Riley second Rogers. down and 11. Receiver split wide to the far side. Inside hash mark. Second down and 11. T formation. Corwin the quarterback. Drops back. Looking for his screen pass out the side. Good pass. Him and that number 20 are doing well. That was a good hand connection. He got right into his pocket. That's Austin Ford who made the catch. But boy, what a what a throw. I mean, that was yeah, just straight yeah, like shot like an arrow, you yep, know? Yep. It was, it was a really, really good flow, and it uh, looks like it goes to a first down. Yes, it does. Ball has now moved up to the 44-yard line on a running clock. 6 not, oh, nine, third quarter. Rangers leading 52-14. to 14. I'll have to check into that. Must be a COVID thing. <coughs> we're, we're shortening the, the rules. That's what I heard. I heard somebody down the way say that. Okay. Quarterback drops back, looking for a long, long, long bomb way down over the top. Uh, did he oh. catch it? I believe he did. He got it. That wow! What a to get the ball. Peters jumped in his face, and I, how did he catch that ball? I mean, and I that, thought I thought there could be some pi there, but he got it. He got that was an incredible it catch. It really was. That quarterback and that they got a good combo going there. Five twenty-six, third quarter, running clock. Looks like they got the ball down to the two for twenty-three as they hustle up to the line. Yeah, trying to get another one in there. Pilot Rock coming up the line. Receiver split wide to both sides. Far side hash mark. Corwin, the quarterback. Here's the snap. Pitch out to the backfield. Looking for a hole. Cuts back across the middle. Trying to get through. Missed the tackle. Rangers still trying to get him. Finally ran back. He went to the right. Came back. And uh, there was Phillips right there waiting for him. Brought him back down. Still some yardage gain. About gain of about two yards. Going to be second down and seven. Ball spotted right on top of the 20. Running clock, 449. Pilot Rock coming up the line. Once, a, once again, uh, Ford split wide to the far side. Corwin, the quarterback, T formation. Here's the snap. Looking for that receiver like he is. Oh, way over in the corner. Is he going to get underneath it? Nah, he did, but he didn't catch it. Yep, went right through his hands on that one. He was like right in the corner of the end zone too. And the uh, the receiver the receiver went to the left, and Dufer's defenders went to the right. Yes, so they did. They they missed that one, but they uh, he was it was shot over his head. Yeah, that was a good run route on that one. Third down and seven, still ball spotted at the twenty. Running clock four oh two. Rangers leading fifty two to fourteen. Once again, Ford split out wide to the far side. Corwin under center in a, in a T formation. Thornton in the backfield. Here's the snap. Worked once. Try it again. Long bomb over the top. There they go. 
Good play right there. Shannon was doing the defense. Shannon was right on top of it. Uh, and we, we, you know, good, good, clean defense right there. Right. You know, no PI and knocked it down. Otherwise, he'd have had it because that kid's got some gloves on him. He, he does. And it was basically the same play again. And he, he kind of breaks to the inside, goes back outside, and Shannon followed with him. This time it got right in front of him and knocked that ball down. Fourth down and seven still. Ball spotted on the inside hash mark. Running clock, third quarter, 3.13 left in this quarter. Rockets come up the line. Nobody split wide this time. I formation for the quarterback. Corwin, deep shotgun. Here's the pit snap. Looking for his screen pass out the side, over the top. Tried it once, tried it again, over the top. Incomplete pass. Rangers going to take over at the 20-yard line. He had Olsen Minas on him as he was trying to throw that ball. So you got to kind of get weird. I don't know if you noticed it, but he kind of threw it at an odd angle on that play when he went to throw the ball instead. He kind of almost did like a little jump there. Well, after the defense of Duper's been so tight on it, he's got to make sure he's leading those guys far enough because, you know, with uh, Shano and those guys over there, they're going to pull that right into them. Right, And exactly. they proved that several times this year, this time. We've got something going on. Timeout, uh, I believe it's Pilot Rock. No, timeout, Rangers. We'll be back in 30 seconds with 2.30 to go third quarter. for the very best, the filet of fish and you. You can have them too. Right now, when you buy one filet of fish you can get another for a buck, or mix and match it with other classes. Limited time only. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Valid for items of equal or lesser value. All right, we're back in the dome. Rangers taking over at the 20 yard line, first and 10. Got a new quarterback, Josh Taylor, driving the ship now. Here's the snap, hands off the ball. Rangers said no. They just piled right in there. Couldn't see a ball carrier, looked like. Which that yeah. is. Uh, the old mill Parker Wallace. Okay. No gain on the play. Down. Down. And that means fun times with the family during clinking season. The Old Mill Bargain Center has all your shooting needs. New and used firearms, a large variety of ammunition and accessories. Looking for something special, the Old Mill Bargain Center can find it for you. Special orders, no problem. If you need a firearm repair, Ben Smith's are there for you. The Old Mill Bargain Center, 2917 East 2nd Street, Fidel. All right, we're back. Look at this. Josh Taylor running down the field. Quarterback keeper takes the ball all the way down to the 40-yard line. The Went to the far line. side. Cuts back across the yeah, middle. Almost the got through. Line. People are yelling in the background, come on, Joshy. Got right. all the way down to the 40. Beautiful run from the 20-yard line, 20, 40-yard run. There we go. Just uh, getting over there into into territory of Pilot Rock this time. Yeah, so the secondary and doing a good job. Minute 20, running clock. Rangers up 52 to uh, 14. Rangers coming up the line. Got some new backfield. Josh Taylor's pilot in the ship. Parker Wallace in the backfield and Phillips. Eye formation. Here's the snap. Hands off the ball to Phillips right up the middle. There he goes. Keeps going right on going. Cody Phillips doing some great things tonight, and he's a freshman with the Rangers. That was a really good run, too. He comes off to the left, and just his, his speed just hitting he's the so line. Quick. I mean, I, know. I, I think I some know. of the pilot and he had the ball down on the side. You couldn't tell he was Second even carrying down. it. No. And he, but man, he was fast getting there, picking up, what, seven yards on that play. 42 seconds to go, third quarter, running clock. Rangers coming up the line. Second down and about two. Ball spotted at the 32-yard line. Josh Taylor, the quarterback. Wallace and uh, t uh, Phillips, the ball carrier. Here's the ball carrier right up the middle. Phillips once again. Cody going to push it down. I think he could get his first down on that. He did. The Wasco Electric Cooperative first down. Okay, Rangers uh, m moving the line Phillips from the 30-yard line. Uh, Cody Cody Phillips on the uh, tackle. I mean, C Cody on Phillips the on, the, tackle, on the run. Brock All right, we'll be back in one minute. Gorge Country, Y102. At a kid's dental zone, they believe that every child deserves Fourth quarter. Nice. That's the end of the third quarter. The Rangers 52. Pilot Rock. Rock at 14.
Orange Country Y102. That's the end of the third quarter. We are now starting our fourth run, and it's 52 to 14 here in the Dome. Eh, good football game tonight. It has been. They're, you both both teams showing some good good promise at times. You know, the first quarter due for you know they pretty much. Uh, owned that quarter. Pilot Rock, I would give the second quarter yes, to. Yes, absolutely. They, they really right played well. Again. And the third quarter, kind of, an, kind of an even quarter right there as we get into the fourth quarter, but you're starting to see some reserves come in for the Rangers. and We'll see what, I don't know if Pilot I, Rock I, I would guess that we wouldn't see that, but I can't see the numbers with Pilot Rocks. Right, exactly. Worse, it's, it's a little tough to see. <laughs> All right, so the Rangers coming up the line. First and 10, ball spotted at the 30. We got a guy tying his shoe over in the Rocket side. Okay, that we can deal with that. Rangers come up the line, and it is uh, Taylor, the quarterback, Phillips, and Wallace in the backfield in a tee. First and 10 Rangers from the 30-yard line. There goes Wallace in motion to the inside. Here's a snap. Hands off the ball to Phillips. No, quarterback keeper up the middle. There goes Taylor. He's off by himself, running down to the side, over to the far side, coming in. Is he going to get inside? Touchdown, in Rangers! Touchdown, Rangers! Touchdown, Rangers! Well, there you go. How about that? Nice little quarterback 30, keeper. 30 yard run into the end zone. And that was a really great run and another Ridgeline plumbing touchdown for the Rangers. He came up the middle and juked off to the left and made it and he just couldn't catch him as he carried it right on in. That was a great play. Just absolutely great play because he, he hesitated just a moment before taking off. Yeah. And man, I'll tell you what, that was great. Rangers coming up the line once again. Wallace and Phillips in the background. Drops back looking for his receiver over the screen pass in the middle. There it is. He's got it. 22 and they got it. That is Olson Minas. And it's good. The PAT with 11.06. Fourth quarter Rangers leading 60 to 14. We'll be back in 60. Sitting on the banks of the mighty Columbia River in the Dell is the bar closed by the Hawaiian Sea. It's not very good. If you're looking for a traditional club, a place to gather, a place to look at the rising, and enjoy good food and swim, the bar is way higher than the Hawaiian Sea. Best friends, all on set. Visit your local Gills Point S Tire in the Dalles or Hood River and online at gillspointstire.com. No stress with Point S. All right, we're back. 11 01, fourth quarter. Rangers leading 60 to 14. Here's the kick. Kind of goes wow. up in the air. <laughs> going to be picked up at the 30. Sweeps around the far side looking for a hole. He's got about five Rangers. Big guy. He's going to be taken down. I can see on the tackle that was number 22. Still working on this. And that's Ol uh, Olsen Minas. Right. On the tackle, got him, and he was a pretty good sized guy to pull down. So, Rockets will take over at the 35 yard line. 10 36 on a running clock. Well, let's follow up on that about the new rule. I think, I wonder if it's just because of COVID or maybe they just changed it that it went to that. Hard to say. To find out. We'll have to check with Jack and see what that's about because we went into running clock, surprised all of us. All right, uh, let's see what's going on. Pi Pilot Rock. Connor, the quarterback, Corwin, sweeps out the far side. Still got a running play going. Gain of a couple of yards on the play. Lots of Rangers pulling him down. Yeah, there's about four of them right there to meet him at the line of scrimmage. And, and uh, you know, the, <laughs> you know, I pass go. See, uh, looks play. like a yard gain of about a yard. Lots of secondary coming and going. Yep, second down Look and nine. Football. Far side Sit hash down. mark ball at the 45, 35 yard line. 9.55 on the clock. Corwin, the quarterback, deep shotgun. Here's the snap, drops back, looking for a screen pass out the side. Pass was intended for the guy on the ground. Yeah, hard to see the number, that, especially across the field, but another, another one of those passes are just that like, you know, just complete. straight as an arrow and fast. You know, I just got new glasses and I, I should see that, but it's not my glasses. It's because the number's the wrong color. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. I can see the eye of that dog over there, but I can't figure that number. Right. Okay, 9.25 on the clock. Rangers leading 60 to, 40, 40, 60 to 14. Uh, Pilot Rock third down and 10. Shotgun drops back looking for his pass. Receiver 
Trying to find a hole. Long bomb up the middle. Let's see what's going to happen down there. Rangers people all are pass interference. Yes, it was, too. Yep. It was. Marshall McLaughlin got right in there, got his hand up, but he leaned right into the receiver, and down they went. P.I., that's going to be a first down for the Rockets. So, well, that'll get him. Right hold the play. That's going to get him down to around, what, the 20? Josh Taylor and McLaughlin back there on the defender. Interference. But he got too close. He did, but, you know, these things happen sometimes. They do. He wasn't keeping the six-foot <laughs> distance. No. Well, kind of hard to do when you're playing eight-man football, you know? <laughs> I think that what the new rule with eight-man with the distance is, is well, they're bringing it back. 15-yard penalty, so the ball didn't all the way down to the 49-yard line. Okay. First and 10 for, from the 49. Corwin, the quarterback. Oh, something happened there. Somebody moved. I think we had a little nope, awesome. timeout. 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 All right. By the Rockets. 8 16 running clock. We'll be back in one minute. Gorge Country Y 102. Kramer's Market is a little market with a little of everything. One thing people from all over come to get Kramer's Market sausage. Made right here at the store and always ready to go. If you need milk, bread, fresh meats, fresh vegetables, canned goods, snacks, coffee, beer, wine, and We're going to be out of here before 10 o'clock. Yeah. You could be having a growler tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have plenty. You're ready, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you brought firewood. Yeah. I was going to help you out with that. No, appreciate that. Yeah. No, no. No, we had, we had firewood. So. Well, that's a nice little fire pit down there, too. Yeah. That's a dandy. Yeah, that's a great spot. It is. I may just move my motorhome down there. There you go. Do it one. <laughs> exactly. Half price. schedule appointments for your family today all right we're back in the dome uh, from the 49 and a half yard line here's the snap pitches out to the far side looking for a hole he's got one Ooh, ran into a ranger right there he was coming right up there and went boom hunter wagon blast was hunter right there wagon waiting for him man to daddy he Wham, got him down he went we want to thank, too, one of our new sponsors, Mid Columbia Vision. We just heard their commercial there. They have the best phone number, 296-2020. 2020. Get it? I love it. This is awesome. Oh, snap on while on the play. Picked up. Yeah, no kidding. And they do a, they do a good job in there. Uh, I'm, I'm sporting my new glasses. Yes, you are. I like it. Yes, you are. So we want to thank them for joining on to Ranger football. You betcha. Doing a good job. A lot of fun there. Real fun people. Great customer service. Great selection. I tell you. You know, really good. There you go. That's what you like to see. I do. Yep. Get it? No like, pun intended. No. I like the tool. Oh, it was. 296 2020. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Isn't I that love awesome? It. <laughs> that is. I saw that today. I was just crack it up. I'm like, that is the best. Third down and about 13, right in front of the announcer's booth. Left hand side of your radio dial. Drops back, looking for a hole. Got Rangers coming in on him. Got up, says, go ahead, run. I'll carry you. Nope. Oh. Didn't get it. Hunter Wagon Blast almost had him seven yards Throwing deep, but he got away. Keeper. Josiah Dave on the tackle yes, on that he one. Did. Tripped him right up. Fourth down and long yardage. Ball at the original line of scrimmage, about the 49 and a half. Good to see Josiah get a couple oh, tackles yeah. tonight. 700, uh, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven minutes on the clock. 700 minutes. That Four, would be a long time. It would. Fourth down and 10. Rangers leading 60 to 14. All right, deep shotgun. Rockets right in front of the announcer's booth. T formation. Here's the snap. Fumble on the play. Rangers are all over him. Fumble the ball. Yeah, that that just that was a really low snap. And Cameron Bostick on the uh, he was right there, hammered him, made sure it was down. Yeah, and, and Rangers take over. Corwin didn't have a chance on that one, but uh, you are listening to Rangers. Do for Ranger football Cameron on Gorge Bostick. Country Y one oh two KYYT Golden Dale the Dells. Yep. First and 10 Rangers from the 47-yard uh, line, right in front of the announcer's booth. Good place for me to see, even with my new spectacles. There you go. And a 6.02 running clock, Rangers leading 60 to 14. On the Pilot Rock side of the seal. Yeah, the, the other side. Rangers heading towards the dome here pretty quick. Taylor under center, Here's that stand, hands off the ball. Is that Phillips, the ball carrier? It must have been. I think so. Yep. yep, it was Phillips, the ball carrier. 
Made some good yardage, gain of about six yards on the play. Going to bring up second and four. Ball spotted at the 40-yard line. The, the Rangers' down. offensive line has done a really great job tonight of opening up a hole in the middle, and they've really done a good job to get Pence through and and uh, Peters Phillips, through and Phillips, Phillips through. through. Yep, yep. You know, I mean, it's just been all night long. They've done a really great job with that. Second and about three. Phillips under or Taylor under center. Here's the snap. Hands off the ball to Wallace. No, yeah, Wallace is trying to break free. Look at that, still getting loose. He was, he had a, he had a, a shirt tackle. Oh, that's good sportsmanship. Pull him down, help him back Martin up. That's Wallace. right. I like to see that. <laughs> yeah, and that was, that was a Tanner Corwin with the, with the tackle yeah. and the, good and the hey, I'll help you up, buddy. Tanner Corwin. I always think about some of the past Rangers. Al B. Olson was always good that way. Ran into him today. He knocked the guy down. Say, hey, pick him back up again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> third, third down and about three, uh, 441 clock. Taylor, the quarterback, Wallace and Phillips in the backfield in a T. Oh, everybody somebody jumped, jumped off. Somebody, oh, they're not even going to call it. Everybody was offside. Oh, yeah, there he is. Delayed ref. Foul. Offsides against the Rangers. Flag on the play. Third down. Notice that he called it after Full the play was down. The <laughs> That's a delay. <laughs> We have a delay of game. We have a delay of ref. Yes. We got, we <laughs> well, you know, it it's is. not a perfect game. Nope. Ah, it's a good one, though. A lot of fun. Third down and nine for the Rangers. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line. 4.03 on a running clock. Rangers leading 62-14. Taylor, the quarterback. Wallace and Phillips in the backfield. Phillips sleeping out to the far side in motion. Here's the snap. Hands off the ball. Nope, the quarterback keeper. There goes Taylor around the side, running hard and fast, running into a couple of Rangers. I think he's going to get his first down, though, before he started going the other direction. That's right. I'm guessing that, got yep, they got that spotted. The yep, move the chains, he says. That's a good run up to 35-yard line. 3-3-3 three, yeah. three, three on the big clock. And a Bishop's annotation first down for the Rangers tonight. Phillips, or Taylor coming over to check in with Jack, see what's going on. What would you like me to do? Make another goal? Okay, I can do that. Rangers coming up to the line. First and 10 from the 35 yard line. Far side hash mark. Great first game out tonight. <laughs> Loving it. It's been a while. Taylor the quarterback. Wallace and Phillips in an eye formation. First and 10, here's the pitch out to Phillips, looking for a hole, cuts back across the middle, does three or four jukes, pulls it down, carries two guys with him, takes Cody him and gets him another two or three yard. Gets Cody Phillips the on the carry. And, and another three great blocking job by the Ranger offensive line where they allowed a lane to open up. And he was able to just, Phillips was able to just jump right in there and get really close, what, about two yards out for from the first down. Yep, second and two yards. 2.25 on the clock. Rangers leading 60 to 14 here in the dome. Rangers coming up the line. Taylor, the quarterback, kind of running coming up slow. Taylor, the quarterback. Wallace and um, Phillips in the backfield. There goes Phillips in motion to the far side. Here's the snap. Hands off the ball to Wallace. Sweeps back across the far side, looking for a hole. Trying to get across that first down line. I believe he got it. Fumble on the play. Yep, fumble on the oh. play goes the other direction. That's too bad. It is. He, he, he went a long oh, way to try to get that yeah, first down. Got it. And then as they pulled and him down, the ball just came out. Tough break for Wallace right there. But, man, hard-fought yards on his part. For yes, for sure. Minute 40 on the big clock. Rangers leading 60-14. to 14. A couple more plays, and we'll be putting this one down. First and 10 Rockets from about the 23 yard line. Far side of the hash, far side of the field, hash mark. Good crowd here tonight, all up and down the sidelines. Yeah, all Looks around. Good. Everybody likes a good spring football game. Minute 14 on the clock. Time for a couple more plays and that, that'll be it. All right, Rockets coming up to the line. I'd like to put a couple more on the one more on the board. Corwin, the quarterback, I formation. Ford in motion to the far side. 
There's the ball carrier coming up, runs into a pile of Rangers. Even the secondary defense is really holding the ground. Yeah, they're doing pretty they're really good. doing a good job. They're doing Rockets pretty good. I think they kind of held them. A slew of Rangers coming from the bottom of the pile. Number five, Marshall McLaughlin. McLaughlin uh, on the tackle, coming back in. Pick, managed to pick up two yards on that play. Yeah, second down and eight. Far side hash mark, 26 seconds to go in this football game tonight. Corwin, the snap, here's looking for his receiver. Was going to go for a long bomb, decided heck with it, I'll just run it. He's got re receivers coming in. That was Phillips on the tackle. Cody brought Corwin him down at about the 35-yard uh, line. Going to pick up a first down, but that's not going to matter. 6 5 4 on 3 2 1. Baby put a wrapper on it. Phillips. Rangers pull and it out 60 to 14. Rangers. We'll be this back in two minutes. Football. Ranger football Three here in the Dome. Six. And the country Y102. And the postgame show. Rock Rockets 14. Hey, thanks for coming out. And during this time of. We're, we've been affected by COVID. We thank you so much for having patience, kindness, and generosity with the Duper School District. Thank you so much for those who traveled from Pilot Rock. We hope you make it home safely. Thank you so much for the Pilot Rock Rockets and their team. Great sportsmanship tonight. Thank you so much for a great game during a trying time. For all of you that, that came out to support the students and your kids, thank you so much. And a big shout out to the Duper School District with everything they do for our community. Partnering with you, the parents, grandparents, and the greater community of Duper. We love you. Thanks for coming out tonight. And as always, go Rangers. Kramer's Market is a little market with a little of everything. One thing people from all over come to get.